What's up lads? Welcome back to another video. As you probably guessed by the title, today I'm going to be trying out JPG Coaching's uh, shoulder and arm workout. I'm super keen to try that. Uh, man's just an absolute goat if you follow him on TikTok. The reason I'm filming again is last week I filmed, I actually really enjoyed picking up the camera and doing all the editing and everything like that again, so I thought, fuck it, you know, I'm going to do another one. Uh, and this one I'm actually going to put a little bit more effort into, you know, I can't be banging out just shitty videos where I don't do anything. So uh, I thought I'd run you through my morning routine just there. I uh, had to shave, had to had to get, you know, looking handsome for you guys. You know, I wash my hair, so what I do when I wash my hair is I'll do it once after I wash my hair, is I put coconut oil in it, and that just oils it down, otherwise it just gets way too frizzy, and I just look like a bit of a crackhead. So that's what I'm gonna go do, and then I'm gonna run you through my breakfast that I have every single morning, uh, and why I like it so much. So let's get into that. All right, so as I said, I grabbed this organic coconut oil. I just grabbed like a finger full, like I just stick my hands in there like a fucking, Fat kid trying to get to some cookies in a cookie jar. And just rub it in. So you don't want to use a stupid amount, just enough to cover all the hair follicles. Now I leave that in until I shower like next, so I'll probably shower in a few hours before I go to the gym. Uh, and that just helps make it so much more nice, it contributes so much to the flow. Um, so I, I would say that the flow is probably mostly genetic. But this definitely helps if you have this type of hair and it gets really frizzy, throw some coconut oil in it and you'll be fucking sweet. All right, so now I'm gonna show you my breakfast that I have every single morning. I've been having this breakfast for literally like over two years now. And the reason I love it so much is because it's super quick, it's super easy, it's cheap, and you can add things to it to completely change its taste. Like if you add one ingredient to this, it fully changes the flavor and just makes it a whole new meal. It's also great for bulking, it's great for cutting. Currently I'm using it for cutting, so I use two eggs. But if, I, if I'm bulking, I'll use four eggs and I'll add another English muffin. And it, and it rounds it up to, I think, around 800 calories. So this is all the ingredients you'll need. Just two eggs. I use almond milk. I uh, got English muffin, like six of these. They're like two bucks at Aldi. I uh, got chicken breast that I meal prepped last night. And then obviously some tomatoes. I usually have some kind of green stuff in there, but I don't think I have any at the moment. So I'm just going to settle for the tomatoes. But as I said, that completely changes the taste from what it was yesterday. Alright, so this is my breakfast. As I said, I've been having this for like literally the last two years. I'm still not sick of it. It just tastes absolutely fucking delicious. I have it with coffee. I just put almond milk, uh, brown sugar, just regular coffee. Um, and I have that for a couple of reasons. One, it helps improve digestion. Two, obviously it's the morning. I just want a bit of a caffeine hit. And three, uh, is it's gonna help me actually suppress my appetite. And now I'm technically not cutting out at the moment. I'm sort of just maintaining Possibly even main gaining for a couple more weeks. I'm gonna go on one more cut and then I'm gonna go on a proper bowl probably at the end of March, kind of is sort of the time frame I have in my head. Uh, but the coffee just helps me get to my next meal, which is probably gonna be uh, around 11 before I go to the gym. Uh, typically, I have my meals at uh, 8, 11, 2 or 3, 5 or 6, and then 8 at 9 at night. Uh, and for a lot of younger people, they ask if they wanna put on weight, how they're gonna do it. You gotta eat at least five meals a day. But I'm gonna jump into this, it's absolutely fucking delicious. Try it out, and you won't regret it. All right, so now that breakfast is out of the way, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna do a bit of studying. I'm not gonna show you guys that because, you know, I don't even wanna be there for it. Uh, I got an exam coming up in a few days, so wish me luck, lads. But uh, I'm gonna do a bit of studying. I'm gonna have my second meal, and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'll be training with Trey. Trey's just a fucking god at getting content, so if you haven't followed him, uh, go check out his Instagram and YouTube. Absolute fucking weapon. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I finished studying. It's fucking boring as shit. I'm liking my third trimester at the moment so it's kind of like the quiet one I just do like 
subjects that I didn't really want to do throughout the year. Just take it easy. I'm only doing one subject. So anyway, I clearly am not a fucking huge fan of it. But uh, I'm about to go to the gym now, so I'm just having my pre-workout meal. Uh, I'm not I'm not doing a day in the life of eating, but I just thought I'd show you uh, because you know why not. So I got one English muffin. They split in half. Uh, just has peanut butter and jam on it. Absolutely fucking filthy. Uh, and then I've just got a protein shake using the uh, Evolve Lipo Whey. I really fuck with this honeycomb flavoring. I really fuck with the honeycomb flavor if I'm just having like protein and milk. The Lipo Whey is pretty much just the whey protein isolate. It's just got a few extra things in it like carnitine, uh, green tea extract, and green coffee extract. Um, so apparently it's just like meant to be better for cutting. So I thought I'd fuck it, I'd grab that as well. Uh, it actually tastes really fucking decent. It probably tastes a little bit stronger than the Whey PR, so in that aspect, I uh, quite like it. But I'm gonna down this, I'm gonna wash the coconut oil out of my hair, and then we're gonna go and get filthily fucking swell. All right, so just got to the gym, got an absolute fucking elite fit on. Got the Hasbulla oversized tee for a warm up. Absolute fucking lethal, it's a mental game, lads. And then I got a uh, female ASN stringer, stringer on, um, just because they never have any males, so fuck it. I decided to shoot wear it. But yeah, let's get to the short workout. Alright, so I'm just going with the uh, sort of quick workout. This is my favorite tasting free. You can pick it up from ASN Code Muscle in store online. Absolutely fucking filthy. I got the blue pearl flavor at the moment, but I reckon Red Russian is probably like the slightest bit better, but that's just my opinion. But I'm fucking delicious. JPG said to do cable ladder raises, but the machine's out of order, it's kind of shit. But we're just going to offer some dumbbell. Uh, he says 8 to, 12, uh, 8 to 10 reps, sorry. Uh, but I'm going to add it for offset in. So I'm going to go from 17 kilos down to 12 kilos. Um, I'm going to get about 10 reps with the fucking 17s, and then I'm just going to burn out some failure in the fold. So for the third uh, shoulder exercise, we're moving on to a rear delt row. Now, JPG, he does it anywhere between 8 to 12 reps, so that's what we're going to be doing as well.
finished up. Uh, it was a pretty decent workout. I did like most of the movements. Obviously we were restricted, especially with the cables and everything like that. One movement that I probably wasn't a huge fan on was the high cable curl. Yeah, that could very well be because I haven't done it before and just don't have that nice mind-muscle connection. Uh, the shoulder workout was very similar to the shoulder workout that I already do. Uh, just the only thing that was different was the rear delt. Uh, and unfortunately I couldn't try out the cables as well. Uh, but yeah, I do rate it. Uh, I reckon if you, you, it's definitely something you need to hit with intensity. Um, and, and the intensity probably wasn't at an all-time high today. It was still pretty decent, especially towards the start of the session. But obviously just started to dive towards the end there. But other than that, it was pretty decent. How would you rate that workout there, Trey? Exactly like you said. Exactly. The shoulder workout was pretty good, but when it came to the biceps, it's definitely something that I wouldn't add into my personal um, program. But like I said to my viewers, it's good to train with different people and it's good to train different programs because your muscles are like, what the fuck? And it gives you like a bit of a pun. But up here, yeah, I wouldn't add that into mine. I'd substitute it with like, I don't know, normal curls. Uh, other than that, seven out of 10. Seven out of 10? Seven out of 10. And if people want to go find your content, where do they go? Search me up, Trey. Maybe link in the description. Yeah, for sure. Likewise. Um, other than that, good